Jenny <laughs> feels like a weird dream or like a Ryu Murakami short story. Um, anyway, so my uh, trip to the Elephant Sanctuary was at uh, 11.30. So shortly before that I went to breakfast next to the hostel. <laughs> And got a egg sandwich, which is pretty good. It, the egg was like, I thought it was going to be like egg salad sandwich, but it was more like a, it was like a soft poached egg in a sandwich. So that's good. It was nice and warm. And then I had a blue lemonade soda. For some reason, I was expecting the bus to be like a normal bus, but um, <laughs> there was like no windows or anything, so I was kind of hanging out <laughs> for the duration of the trip. <laughs> We went through a couple of villages through the mountains for a while, which is kind of hard to watch because, like, the mountains rising in the background as you're going up the mountain, kind of this weird shifted perspective thing. So we got to the elephant sanctuary. We got to feed the elephants bananas and uh, watermelons. Bon bon. Bon bon. Bon bon. Bon bon. Bon bon. Pero son super ásperos, ¿les has tocado? Bon bon. Bon bon, bon fine. <laughs> wow, y lo recoge, es chulísimo. Bon bon, bon bon. Hola mi amor. Hola mi amor. ¿Cómo eres tan linda? De que va, de que re que. <laughs> Calm yourself. Yeah, I know. Take it. <laughs> Bon bon, bon bon. Hey, not the camera. <laughs> so greedy. Have you had to make a medicine for the elephant every every bit? Yeah, one spoon bit. What are you doing? Like a medicine for what? For healthy elephant healthy. Ah, uh, like like vitamins. Yeah, like a vitamin. <laughs> Me like the bone, yeah, oh. like this. And we feed to the elephant one bone, one elephant. One bone, one bone. Bone bone, hola. Déjame agacharme, yo te doy, yo te doy, yo te doy. Bone bone. 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 Bone b
Okay, no, that's, that's a camera. <laughs> Hi. No, 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 no. <laughs> and then we went down to this uh, little pond, which the elephants came down later to, and uh, so we kind of gave them a regular bath, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and then we took some uh, kind of mud baths with the elephants. And then we washed off in these uh, showers. I didn't realize like, until halfway through the showers that there was soap available, which helped. And then uh, eventually we got to have uh, lunch, which was good. Um, I'm finding that I'm more and more addicted to the fish sauce, so I had to like, cut myself off because I kept sweating from all the peppers. And then we got this uh, satchel as a souvenir, which normally I wouldn't take a souvenir, but I, actually that morning, I was, or this morning, I was trying to think of some kind of thing to keep my passport and stuff in, so it actually worked out. Apparently it's made out of uh, elephant feces, though, so that's a little weird. And then, uh, so we started riding back into town. They dropped me off at this hostel, which is, I, I have an actual hotel room. So it's a weird hostel, it's like a hostel slash hotel slash resort. There's like a pool and everything. that far so I started walking towards this place called the it was like the down under pub it's supposed to have Australian food and then nothing really dragged my fancy so I started, and it was kind of empty so I started uh, walking back and I, after I turned around there was people at this other bar um, that kind of told me to sit down and I didn't really have any other options in mind so I just kind of hammered them and sat down and it turned out that it was it was also owned by the company I guess that owned the bar I was looking at that started this whole thing where uh, this uh, guy that was sitting on the other end of the patio area invited me over. And he was nice, but like, <laughs> he, 
had a weird sense of humor where he would be like constantly making like sexual jokes with the staff. Hello from the future, and like three countries later, I realized that I never mentioned that what I actually ended up eating was uh, Australian, uh, it was like a kidney pie, which I used to have Australian pies in uh, Austin. Um, but so one of the reasons at the first Australian place that I went to that night, I didn't like, I didn't get anything on the menu because everything kind of came with a <clears throat> side of like mashed peas and I didn't want to have to deal with the communication part of that. The guy that I hung out with uh, um, knew the waitress and was able to make sure that she understood that I couldn't eat the peas. Ironically, the the restaurant that I went to was actually served by the kitchen at the first restaurant, so I ended up getting what I was going to get anyways. So. It's embarrassing how long I've been putting off publishing this video because I can, I kept forgetting to get around to recording this little section of clar uh, clarification. So, yeah, anyway, I, I had a kitty pie, and it was good. Since I wasn't in any danger and uh, I didn't really have any other options for the next couple hours, I hung out with him and his friend. There were a couple of the Australian expatriates, and then we went to uh, this other bar where this uh, guy that he knew was uh, playing guitar. And then, oh my god, I just want to go to bed. I just wake up and like, oh god. Like four hours. I've had like eight hours of sleep in the last two nights. Anyway, I'm loving the experience. It's just, it's like midnight and I'm really sleep deprived right now. Until tomorrow or whenever I get decent internet connection. I just can't wait